How's it going everybody? Landon with Late Model Restoration. In this installment of LMR Basics, I'm gonna be showing you the general procedure on changing the fuel filter in your Mustang. I'm gonna be doing the work on this 1992 Fox Coupe. The fuel filter plays a vital role in your Mustang's fuel system. Unfiltered fuel contains dirt and debris, which can cause premature failure to other fuel-related components, such as your lines or the injectors. Replacing the fuel filter is something that should be done fairly often, and in most cases, Ford recommends every 30,000 miles on applicable vehicles. This task is very easy compared to others and can be completed in little to no time, time at all. You, of course, need a few supplies to tackle this job, such as a pair of safety glasses, gloves, a socket set, flathead screwdriver, rags or shop tails, and a drain pan to catch any fuel that may run out of the old filter and the lines. To begin, pop the hood and disconnect the negative battery cable. Locate the Schrader valve and unscrew the protective cap. Use a flathead screwdriver to depress the valve so that it bleeds the fuel system pressure. Of course, have a few rags ready to catch any fuel that may run out. When that's done, reinstall the protective cap and then support the vehicle via a lift or jack stands. Position the drain pan underneath the fuel filter. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry the plastic clip out of the line connector. Of course, have a rag ready and disconnect the line from the filter. Be ready to catch any fuel that runs out. Repeat these steps for the other connection. Once the lines are free from the filter, loosen the clamp with an eight millimeter socket. Have a rag ready and then carefully slide the filter out of the bracket. Take this time to wipe up any excess fuel and then lightly clean the area. Take your new filter and make sure you install it with the arrow facing toward the driver's side of the car. Slide it into the bracket and then retighten the clamp. Position the lines on the new filter and then, re and then use the provided clips to secure it into place. Double check your work, reconnect your negative battery cable and you're all finished. Installation time will obviously vary depending on the individual, but shouldn't take you no more then 45 minutes from start to finish. After the job was complete, I took the old filter out of the car and then slammed it on the ground a few times to demonstrate what the media catches inside of the filter. As you can see, it's fairly disgusting and this is why you wanna maintain your fuel system properly. Until next time guys, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Be sure and check out our wide selection of fuel system related components and accessories for your Mustang from the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com.